What is up guys, what's up 12 7 here and welcome to my 2018 Nerf Arsenal. So it's almost been a year since I did my last Arsenal video and it's grown quite a bit since then. I've completely cleared my living room out just so I can get all my Nerf Blasters uh, out on the floor. This isn't everything, I've still got Super Soakers and non-Nerf Blasters, I'll have to show you after I've gone over this stuff here. Gone for a different approach and layout this year, everything's organised by series, that's just to change it up a bit and I think it looks really cool. Also, very quickly, if this video gets 150 likes, I'll make a follow-up video showing you where I store all my Nerf Blasters, my Nerf Wall, everything like that. I've briefly showed up my child but never gave you a full tour of the Armoury, so 150 likes and we'll 100% make that video. So if we start on here, we've got the Jolt. One, Zombie Strike. Two, Sonic Fire. Two, Sonic Ice. There is the Elite one. Two, End Strike ones. The Stinger. And then, Series 1 of the Micro Shot, which includes the Hammer Shot. Fire Strike, Strong Arm. Then to the left, we've got the Marvel stuff. Got the Spider-Man Homecoming Wrist Buster. There's the Black Panther Gauntlet. The Captain America Civil War Shield. And then we've got two... Iron Man blasters, that's the slide blast and I don't know, this is the wrist one. But for more to the left again, we've got three old stuff. My vintage collection is not big at all, but we got the, I forget what this one's called. The Nerf Supermax 3000. Then we got a, I don't even know what this one is called. I'm not sure what this one is called. Make sure you drop a comment down below if you know what it is. And then we got a reactor there. So here we've got the Rebel stuff. So we've got three Rebel jolts here. That mini mischief, the Illuminate. I forget what this one's called, but Rebel Strongarm. Four Victory, uh, the Dauntless, Sweet Revenge, Five by Five, a uh, Wild Glam, I believe it's called. Then the Pink Crush, Star Shot, the Air. Uh, is it Rapid Reload? Rapid Red? Rapid Reload? I have no idea what it's called, but the Rebel Retaliator. This one's the Rapid Red, Secret Shot, Fearless Fire, Guardian Crossbow, Diamond Dista, Courage Crossbow, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, here is the Focus Fire, Code Breaker Crossbow, a little Rebel Bow, whose name I forget as well. These Rebel Blaster names are just easy to forget. There is Generic Rebel Bow number 10. I don't know what it's called. Agent Bow, uh, Rebel Wing Speed, and the last Rebel Blaster I have is the Heartbreaker Bow. Moving up, we got a couple of the Star Wars stuff. There is Chewbacca's Bow Caster, Poe Dameron's Blaster, his Stormtrooper Pistol, Han Solo's Blaster, Ray's Jakku Blaster, uh, there is a Stormtrooper Blaster, Captain Phasma's Blaster, uh, Rogue One Death Trooper Blaster, and then another Stormtrooper Blaster. Then moving to the right down here, we've got a bunch of dart tag stuff. Got the Snapfire 8, two Strike Fires, a Sharp Shot, Speed Swarm, Speed on 6, a Awfully Painted Swarm Fire, and an Orange Fury Fire. Then if we move to the right again, we got Vortex. So here we got the Pyragon, the Lumatron, Praxis, the Praxis Repaint. That thing looks really nice, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Then moving down here, we got two Diatrons. One is the Repaint. There's a Proton, Vigilon, Revonix 360, and then we got two Nitrons. Then on the TV stand here, because I didn't know what else to put them, I got a couple of Nitro Blasters. There is the Moto Fury, the Flash Fury, the Long Shot, and the Throttle Shot Blitz. Also got a random Big Bad Bow here because it couldn't really fit in the End Strike stuff, so I tried to put it near it. Moving all the way to the left side of the collection, we got the Aki Strike Blasters. Here is the Alpha Hawk, the Raptor Strike, the Falcon Fire, and the Quadrant. Above them, we got the Doomlands Blasters. We got the Persuader, Negotiator, Vagabond, Lawbringer, Double Dealer, and then at the back there is the Judge. Don't have any of the Impact Zone Blasters. I just never got around to picking them up. And then to the right of Doomlands, we have Rival. Here is the Artemis, the Zeus, Atlas, the Chaos, and the Nemesis. As you cannot tell, I'm Team Blue. Then we've got three Apollos, one red, one blue, and one Phantom Core. Moving down from that, we got the Hera, the Helios, and the Phantom Core version of the Kronos. To the right of Rival, we have Modulus, but firstly, three random Sonic Fire Blasters, the Blaze Fire, the Bar Break, and the Strong Arm. So for Modulus, we have the Mediator, the Recon Mark II, two ECS 10s, a Regulator, the Battle Scout, the Modulus Strike, the Tri Strike with its Missile Launcher and Mega Launcher on 
and then just behind the Tri-Strike we got an Ion Fire. Then to the right of the Modulus Busters we got the N-Strike series. For being in the hobby quite a while I actually don't have many of the N-Strike Busters but anyways down here we got a Reflex and a Secret Strike and we got a Sonic series Nightfinder, an Element, a Recon and as I said before the Big Bad Bill. Here's a Barrel Break, the Raven, a White Maverick and then my first Nerf Buster the classic yellow maverick. Then below that we've got everyone's favorite V deploy, uh, an alpha trooper and a raider, a stampede. Then to the side here we got a vulcan or as they're called in the UK a havoc fire. Then above the stampede we have a long strike and then above that is a yellow long shot with the front gun. Above the end strike blasters we got the mega series so we got two magnuses original red and the sonic ice version. Then we got the mega tri break the Double Breach, next to that is the Rotor Fury, above that is the Twin Shock, then we got the Cyclone Shock, Hot Shock, Lightning Bow, then we got two Centurions here, one is Sonic Ice and one is the regular one. Then down there we have the Big Shock, at the back we have two Thunder Bows, one is original, one is the Sonic Ice, and then we have the Mastodon. To the left of Mega, we have the Elite Blasters. We'll start down here with some not so Elite Blasters but I've just included them in the section because they, they have the early design. So we've got the Snapfire, the Bow Strike, the Glow Shot, the Reflex, and then we have the uh, Sharp Fire, Double Down, and Sharp Fire Delta. Now onto the proper Elite Blasters. We've got two Triads here, one is Regular and one is XD. And we've got two Strives, again, Blue and XD. Keeping with the Blue and XD theme, we've got the two Strong Arms, XD and Original Blue. Then above that is the Disruptor, the Dual Strike, the Split Strike, both the blasters are there. Then moving up, we got a rough cut, a bow break, a spectre, then three retaliators, original blue, XD, and sonic ice. To the right of the retaliators, we got two ravens, the raven fire, and the elite. Above that, we got an alpha trooper, a rampage. At the back there is a sling strike with a hail fire. If we go back down to the bottom, we got a stockade, three fire strikes, two of them are XD and one of them is the original blue. Then we got the hyper fire, the calm, two rapid strikes, one is XD and then one is the original. Next the rapid strikes we got a strato bow, the cross bolt, a surge fire and here is the long shot with the front gun on. Then to the right of that we got a rhino fire, a thunder blast and a demolisher. Moving on to the zombie strike series now. I've got a side strike, a double strike, a ricochet, the hammer shot, cross cut, there's the crossfire bow without the bombs off, I just took them off. And down here we have a clear shot, a rip shot, and the bio squad eraser. Above that we got the two zombie strike rough cuts, the green and orange one, the fuse fire, and then the zombie strike mega magnuses. Then to the left of them we got the Z squad long shot, two dominators, a flip fury, a sledge fire, above the sledge fire is the sling fire, and above that is the rev reaper. To the right of that we have the huge dread bolt, and hiding behind that is the outbreaker bow. Then last up, sitting in the corner, is the Alien Menace Blasters. These include the Incisor, the Ravager, and the Voidcaster. So that's it for the Nerf Blasters. As you can see, me stepping through it all has made them all messy. So I'm gonna go on to the rest of my arsenal that includes off-brand Super Soaker and all the attachments and various magazines. Next up we got the non-nerf blasters and Super Soakers. So we got my full Boom Girl collection, Twisted Spinner, Clip Fire, Far Shot and the Whip Blast. I've got a couple of X-Shot Blasters here. Here's the Bug Attack Crossbow, the Regenerator, this is the uh, X-Shot Modulus, the X-Shot Excess I believe it's called, and next to that is Vigilante. Here's the Cougar, the Champion, the Double Shot, the Sentinel and the Master Tech or Sniper Tech, whatever it's called, I can't remember the name. And above that is a Range Master, the Berserker. Here's my only Air Zone Blaster which is the Quick Fire 12. At the top here we've got the Huntsman 50, then along the back we've got a bunch of broken Zing products. Now we'll move on to Super Soaker. Here is the Pressurizer, the Hydro Cannon, Shot Blast, Tornado Strike, Switch Shot, Arctic Shot, two Electro Storms, Flash Blast, and the Micro Burst. Then we've got the newest Super Soakers here, we've got a couple of Zombie Strike ones, the Scatter Blast, Extinguisher, Infector, and Contaminator, they never Micro Shot, and a Zip Fire. Here is the Sonic Ice and Fire Tidal Tubes, Flash Flood, Hydro Storm, Double Drench, here's the Dark Fire, the Freeze Fire, and the Freeze Fire 2.0. Above them we've got three Alpha Fires, a Floodinator, Flood Fire, Barrage, and the Tri-Strike Crossbow. So that's a collection of Super Soakers and non-Nerf Blasters. We'll get on to accessories now. So next up we have the attachment. 
So we'll start down here. Got a couple of strap, the Boomco one. And we got a couple more here. Three bandoliers and then two strap. Then we just got a bunch of vests, uh, tactical vests, and then the dart tag vests with some glasses. Here we got some targets, some zombie strike, dart tag, some rebel and elite. And then at the back there, we got one of them tech targets. Moving down for targets, we've got my sad collection of melee. Got some swords at the back there, uh, the machete and the chainsaw. The majority of the modulus attachments here. The stock shots, the Blast the stock, and there's the barrel strike. Next to the barrel strike, we've got two of the long range bipods. We've got two shields here the uh, shield that came with the blast stock, and then the storage shield. Below that is the regulator stock, then two of the modular storage stocks, and then below that is the recon mark 2 stock. If we go up again. We got two of the dual barrels from the original modulus and then the two dual barrels from the regulator. And here we've got the storage stock, the recon mark two barrel, the battle scout camera. These two barrels here, one of them came with the ion fire and then one came with the modulus strife. Moving down, we've got two long range barrels, then three long range scopes. They're all different colors. We've got a green one, an orange one, and then the camo one. Uh, to the left of them, we've got the modulus regulator handle barrel thing, the ion fire dart holder, uh, the modulus laser pointer, and then the uh, flashlight. Then here's the grip blast, two pinpoint sights, orange and green. Three of these grips, two came with uh, two moduluses and then the other came with the modulus strife. Then we've got two of the foldable grips, two of the um, stealth ops barrels, and then two of the original ECS-10 scopes. So we'll move on to the other stuff now. We've got a couple of barrels, three retaliator, all different colors, regular blue, sonic ice, and XD, and then a recon barrel. Two spectre barrels, I actually have another spectre, I just forgot to include it in the blaster part. Then at the back there, we've got the stampede shield and the super circuit shield. There is the raptor strike foldable bipod, and then we've got the two centurion ones. Then here we have a vulcan and rhino fire bipod. Underneath them, we've got three long shot scopes, blue, orange, and yellow an element scope, an elite pinpoint sight, then we've got the shot blast and clear shot scope, a long strike flip up sight, I uh, painted some of it there to match elite blasters, and here's a recon flip up sight, here's a couple of star wars scopes, we've got one from the stormtrooper blaster, one from chewbacca's bow, and then this really cool one from a uh, stormtrooper uh, pistol, then we've got the nitron scope, the dreadbolt scope, then up above there we've got a couple of rival stuff, but the uh, pinpoint rival sight and then the flashlight grip. And above that is the clips of the magazine holder. To right them, we've got a bunch of rebel crap, some bow arms and them. Really crap decoder dot things. Sharp shot, quick release belt clip. The sight from the zombie strike jolt, flip clip. Uh, here's a rebel dart holder, then two bar break dart holders. Got some recon lasers here, two original yellow. And then I have a third one which I custom painted to match elite blasters. And to the right then we got a rebel flashlight and then a custom torch attachment. And at the bottom here we got three retaliate grips. XD, Original and Sonic Ice, then the Stampede, Pop-Out Bipod and then a custom Raider foregrip from a spare Raider I had. Above that we got the Elite iPhone holder. And I've got a couple of holsters here, we got the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming holster with the cartridges, a Side Strike holster and then some Rebel holsters. We got two Praxis stock, one white and one green. And we got the Stormtrooper stock, the Stock 8 stock, two Elite Spectre stocks, then two Recon stocks. Again, I custom made another one to match Elite Blasters. Then at the top there, we got three Retaliator stocks, a uh, Super Circus stock, two more Super Circus stocks, and then two Raider stocks. As you can see, I replaced the tubes of them too, so that could match Elite Blasters. A couple of Busby scopes and a Busby bipod, along with some Busby barrels. And here are my two Master Key attachments. Got the Magnus Long Strike Barrel and then the Rough Gut Retaliator Barrel. Uh, they go on my Raven and Strife. Still haven't made a video of this one, so if you want one, make a drop a comment down below. Then here we got a bunch of other attachments. We got two Boomco shields and then the attachments from the X Shot Regenerator, so some barrels, stock, bipod, some scopes, dart holders, and a grip. And then lastly at the top here I've got a bunch of the nitro stuff, so the ramps, targets, and all the tires, barrels, and boxes they were meant to shoot at the knockdown. So that's gonna over all my attachments. I'll get onto magazines now. Okay, now onto magazines and other various clips. If we start down here, we got my huge collection of six dart magazines. These range from the old end strike to new elite, including the Raptor Strike six dart magazines. If all six dart magazines look like these ones, I wouldn't mind these, because these look really cool. I have around 34 six dart magazines. Then moving up, we've got the two Centurion six dart magazines, then four 25 round drums, an 18 drum, and a 35 round drum. At the top there, I've got four Super Circuit magazines. Then if we come back down, we've got three Busby, then the two X-Shot clips from the Regenerator, and then the Battle Scout clips. 
Yes, these are clips. And then the two six dart magazines from the Egg Shot Crossbow. To the left of that, we've got the rival stuff. We've got three seven round magazines and then five 12 rounders. And here we've got the 40 round mag from the Chaos. Moving up, we've got a couple of 10 round magazines. We've got the white one from the Ravenfire, then the 10 from the Tri Strike. Then we've got the 10 round Firefly Rebel magazine. Then three 10 round banana magazines and that really cool 10 round from the Rev Reaper which has the barbed wire on it and we got two 12s from the Double Dealer and a Rebel 12 round magazine and above them we got the rest of my 12s they're all a bit different we got the two solid ones from the Regulator then a bunch of standard the Sonic Ice one then a completely clear one and a white Star Wars one including the ones down there I have 14 12 mags in total. Then if we move up here, we got the modulus flip magazine, which technically makes 16 12 round uh, magazines. Then we've got a bunch of 18s here. We've got two Firefly Tech, two clear, an elite one, and then three old ones from the Stampede. Down the side here, we got the Vulcan belt, and a couple of Vortex stuff, the Pyragon 40, 220, a 10 round Firefly Tech, and then three 10 round disc magazines. For the size of my collection, you would have thought I have more mags. I don't have many because I never really buy spare ones, but that is the magazine collection. Okay, so last up I have my ammo. I'll start at the back over there with all the older stuff. Big box of Vortex discs, they don't get used much these days. But I've got a variety in there from the green to the glow in the dark. So the Paragon ones, and then some various multicolored ones, and then... Um, zombie strike ones as well. So we've got this box here full of all the old ammo which is just obsolete now. All the old streamline darts, the whistler dart and the dart tag darts. There's also suction darts in there as well as well as the balls and the big bad bow arrows. In this tub here I've got all the non-nerf ammo. Bunch of broken zing stuff, uh, Busby missiles, for some reason a broken demolisher missile, Busby dart, egg shot darts, whatever the hell this one is, it's got a hole in the top, some weird air zone dart, and the boomco dart. Now we'll move on to the more commonly used stuff, first of all, arrows down here, rebel, and zombie strike ones, and because nitro is now a thing, I've got a box of foam cars. So, I've got a big box of rival ammo, there is hundreds, possibly even a thousand in there, there's tons of it, and then... Big box of elite darts, again, probably thousands of elite darts in here. Then big box of mega darts, got a variety of them. Basic red ones, these deco ones, zombie strike ones, and sonic ice ones. We've got the demolisher missiles, and then in this one here I've got miscellaneous like elite style darts which don't get used in like special edition. Such as the camo dart, sonic fire dart, suction dart. Well, in the dark darts, so many marvel darts, so the uh, spider-man one, iron man one, and then these ones came for the black panther blaster. And also got ones such as the Super Soaker darts and these pretty cool uh, uh, darts which have the Elite logo on them. Then in these two I have the Zombie Strike darts. I've gotten organised from uh, the Deco pattern ones such as the uh, Zombie Strike logo and the uh, Z Squad ones. This one doesn't have a head though. And then just got the uh, plain ones in here which I use more. Then we just got a big box of Rebel darts which never get used. Next to that is Doomland. It's got the uh, regular plain ones and the Deco ones. Then this up here features Aki Strike darts. Got the regular orange ones and then them rebel ones. And here I got a big tub of white modular starts. And here we got the Star Wars dart. Got some green ones, got some blue ones, got some red ones, and then we got the white glowy dark ones. Then lastly, have a small pathetic box of alien menace darts. I actually haven't bought the uh, deco refill packs yet. So that was all my ammo. I'm not sure how much is here. But I do have a lot. Thank you for watching. For more related Nerf content, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Also, follow me on Instagram, was it 12 or 7? Link is in the description. And hope you enjoyed this huge Nerf Arsenal video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.